QA. Hey, you there? Where the hell am I? Oh, it's it's been a while. Uh, it's great, but we have to do this. We have to do this. The game is not going to win. But I can only handle so much Matt Hazard <laughs> at once. I can only handle about uh, 41 minutes of it at one time. <laughs> yeah, everyone, please don't don't look at the the time stamp. <laughs> just just don't mouse over the video. You don't want to see it. Or maybe you you do so you can you can tell that eventually this will end and it won't take 5 hours. Yeah. So, I'm trying to remember what happened before this. It was we went to we went to Dexter's uh giant mansion. Yeah. yeah. And, and slammed his head against his car multiple times. Yeah, we did that. Oh, that was good. That's finally something good happened in this. Or I should say, real Soviet bear did that. Right, right. <laughs> and then gave that footage to us, along with a whole bunch of other nonsense that we are also talking over. <laughs> well, I also, I made the gif. I yeah. made the gif. That's okay. true. <laughs> so that happened, and then... Uh, obviously evil clone or whatever of QA showed up and tricked us into getting into a space hole and now we're here and I think that's it. And we also it. talked to the villain. We didn't talk to the villain but we had a scene with the villain. Oh yeah! Yeah, remember oh, that yeah. guy? He could beat every game except for this specific Mad Hazard series. Uh-huh. Somehow. <laughs> so... In a previous video, I predicted that Matt Hazard was going to come out of the game and kill that guy in real life. Okay. I would like to retract that mm. because I have a new prediction that that dude is most definitely going to digitize himself into the game to fight Matt Hazard, and then Matt Hazard will kill him there. Yeah, okay. If I, uh... if I am wrong, I will buy you a food. Wow. Okay. I will buy you a food if I'm wrong. That is that is how confident I am. That, okay. That is exactly how this game is going to end. I mean, I'm not going to fight you on this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to clarify, by you, he means me, not you, the viewer. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm not buying all of you, like, a pizza or something. <laughs> oh, my God. That would go down in LP history, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Every person that's posted in the thread gets a pizza. <laughs> we played a game so bad, we had to buy everyone pizza to make up for it. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Everyone on SA that posted in the thread is getting a platinum account. <laughs> Then you're not. I don't know. I'll have to figure out. This something does not for count it. as a tox clause. It doesn't work that way. We said it in a video. It's not on the forums. Not legally binding. <laughs> None of you signed a contract to watch this. So. <laughs> oh, that'd be the worst. Ex contract. Except for except for links. Yeah, links I signed did. a contract. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, that was it. It was. Part of a package deal with a contract called friendship. <laughs> Sometimes I want to look at the exit clause. <laughs> uh, there is none. Ah, oh, dang it! Uh, I did not write that part. Oh boy, I should have. Should have yeah, hired a lawyer. You should have read it. <laughs> or learned to read. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> well, I did type it up in the smallest font possible <laughs> and then to um, kind of extend it to make it look like there was more than there was uh, a lot of those paragraphs are actually just Thor Mipsum. Damn it! Ah. Yeah, yeah. Basically ah. half that contract, like about 20 out of those 40 pages is just basically Thor Mipsum over and over again. Man, half of legalese is fucking Latin shit anyway. I should have known. <laughs> What was that voice? Like that was That's what you get for attacking me. I guess it was just another enemy? I guess, but it sounded like it was like pitched down. 
<laughs> so I've realized a problem with doing LPs uh, in the summer uh -huh. in Seattle, at least in my current apartment, Yeah, is I have no air conditioning and I have one room. So I have to turn off all of my fans. Oh God, and, and you're watching this. And the, I'm watching this. I'm oh, suffering for you, the viewer. That is miserable. <laughs> maybe all of you should buy me a pizza. Hey, maybe maybe we should find some of these ice bullets and <laughs> You know, just just encase you in ice. So that you can wake up in a better time <laughs> when nobody remembers this game. <laughs> Like that that sounded pitched down, right? Like it was just a normal guy saying, you know, you're so gonna die now, and then they they slowed it down like you're so gonna die now. Maybe they just didn't want to record a new clip and they were like, No, these enemies are different. They have to have different voice lines. Just <laughs> just do it as cheaply as possible. Just throw it into Audacity. Yeah. <laughs> One of those filters will do something. 66% speed. We're good. We're good. That's all we need. <laughs> so this is a really big ship, right? Uh, it's pretty big. They said this is a yacht, but um, this is getting into cruise ship territory. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't even think any of like the 1% have a ship this big. Like, I... I think what happened is they got about halfway through designing this level, forgot that it was supposed to be a yacht, and it just turned into <laughs> office. Like, that is, like, the third or fourth pool table we've seen. Uh, or, okay, you know what? I just remembered that this game does the thing where it, like, puts oh, different yeah, kinds right. of things together from, from video games, and maybe that happened. But, like, that they, might be it. they made it a bit too subtle. Because normally it has, you know, <laughs> you'd have, like, Wild West saloon doors that appear in out of thin air. And this time it was just, you've gone from one boring place to another. Friend of yours? <laughs> Sounds like he's in trouble. Yeah, that's Master Chef from Crown of Light. Oh my really? god. Game. From hazards of hostility. Any suggestions? Hmm. Maybe you should get That's the joke a five-year-old would write. It's... What the hell has gotten into her? That's a joke that people made when the game came out originally. I've been better, man. One minute I was in space a hundred light years away, the next I'm on a yacht pinned down by space marines. What's going on? Long story. I take it you're not armed. No. All I have is my heat shield generator. And all I got are 21st century weapons. That's not going to do much against their armor. No, but I can use the heat shield generator to create temporary cover points for you. If you're careful, the cover should buy you enough time to inflict the required damage. Good plan. Ready when you are. This sounds like it could be a cool idea, but it's probably not going it's, to be. It's just making semi-transparent crates. That's all it's doing. Yeah. The dude has no, a they crate almost had projector. Something that <laughs> yeah, they could have had something cool, but no. <laughs> so something I've noticed as we've gone through five of these levels now, a lot of these levels feel like they were just made in the kind of level editor that you would find in like Time Splitters 2. <laughs> like that's what this feels like because it's so many repeated assets just yeah. over and over. Yeah, I could whoop whoop. Time to die. Like yeah, these things are just retextured crates. This is yeah. Why would they need to have death? Their plasma or whatever. Like I've seen people do some pretty impressive things in uh, in Forge in Halo Five. Well done, Matt. Why don't you go and find a way off this tub? I'll hang back and take care of the stragglers. Hey, do you remember that this is supposed to be a ship? Take some new weapons as well. <laughs> Where there were two space marines, there are bound to be more. 
Thanks for the help, MC. I owe you, buddy. Anytime. He walks like he pooped his pants. Matt? Yes, he does. Hey. Um, wow. Nice work. Yeah, no thanks to you. Yes, well, uh, you remember that interference? It must still be interfering. Well, why don't you see if you can clear that interference and get me the hell off this level? Whatever you say, sweetie. You haven't caught on yet? You haven't caught on to the fact that she's red? <laughs> the color of bad people? in video games so one thing I'm disappointed about so they went with the stupid joke master chef uh huh but then they never did anything chef or food related with him right like that's what if you're gonna name a master chef do something with it yeah <laughs> do hey do you have any it. you know you know, do you have any any cool guns or anything? Nah, but I got a frying pan and that'll do. Like, do that. <laughs> I got a it's shit a ton of knives. Pan. Yeah, it's a cyber pan. I got this energy projecting pan. <laughs> like he's got that cyber mitt, that oven mitt on his hand. Yeah. Like what if he what if he what if that was his weapon? <laughs> Instead, he just went and picked up a gun, and it's like, oh, cool. So, why'd you even make this joke? To do, you wouldn't be playing a game. Are they really making? Fuck uh, you. They are great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? <laughs> <laughs> pew 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 pew. <laughs> I think I had a toy that made this exact same sound when I, I was like seven. I definitely had a laser gun toy that made way better sounds. Is it was oh the my one? God. It was the one that like every time you pulled it, it would cycle between eight different sounds. Oh yeah, those. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one of the. Oh my God! Why has no game actually like made that into a weapon? You mean the one that just cycles between sounds or cycles between like ammo types like that both like every time it makes a different sound it's a different kind of of weapon a different kind of shot and it's like it goes in a fixed cycle obviously this would have to be some kind of gag weapon i would not base an <laughs> entire game around this <laughs> no obviously it's a joke weapon like the dildo bat in saints row right yeah, just like every time you fire it, it's like it makes, you know, like, you know, a pew or a woo woo kind of like, you know, and, and you know, meow, what, meow, 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 meow. yeah, you use it enough, you know how it's going to cycle. So maybe you can start using it strategically because each thing does a different, you know, a different effect. Why are we better game designers than this? And one of the things that cycles through is one of those guns that shoots the foam discs. Mm hmm. <laughs> we should sell this idea to Volition. I mean, they would probably put it in their game. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if Volition is really in the uh, the buying things mood at the moment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe if they make another Saints Row. Eh, maybe. He made some dickhead joke about ammo counters and I don't I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I Things are happening on the screen. I'm looking directly at them and my brain just doesn't want to register anything. <laughs> I'm also just really disappointed that they didn't like these guns aren't much different. This one charges up and that's it. Yeah. That's the only new thing. And apparently you only get the two powers, I'm assuming, the ice and the fire. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any other slots, and uh, I figure we probably would have picked one up by now. Master Shield. Like, you couldn't make an electrical one that just does AoE damage and stuns enemies or something? Right. Anything? You know, I might have played a game or two that have some ideas about special powers you could use with electricity. <laughs> now would be a good time to switch weapons. 
No idea what game you're talking about. Yeah, it's um. <laughs> <sighs> that game had you using a lot of guns, right? Uh huh. Constantly. All the time. Yeah. It was. You had elemental powers. You were bald. You had a gruff <laughs> voice. Um. There were definitely a lot of weapons involved, including one very <laughs> high-powered one. <laughs> oh, that was that spin-off game for that one character that was in PlayStation All-Stars? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. I can't believe that this game is just a rip-off of Infamous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to see Matt Hazard, like, power slide down these railings or something. <laughs> That'll be great. Just a, just a Matt Hazard versus Cole McGrath gruff off. <laughs> who, can, who can swallow more gravel before delivering their lines? Oh, McGrath, or McGrath wins just yeah. automatically. Yeah, I, <laughs> no contest. Yeah. Cole ends up both more gravelly and, like, you know, has better delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Though, now that I am thinking of Matt Hazard, like, grinding some rails, I want this game to give him soap shoes. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, there, that's the fourth power up. You get electrical stuff, and then the last level, it's all a rail grinding level, like that one in Sonic Adventure 2. Do they still make soaps? Are those? They do. Are they they're they still, still make business? soap shoes. That's good. Wait, actually, hold on. I need to Google it so I'm not saying the wrong things. Ah, uh, damn it! I gave you an excuse to look away. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can still buy soap shoes. Neat. The the first ones I see are fifty six dollars, and then there's one that's a hundred and thirty dollars. Wow. Jesus, just. Get a pair of rollerblades. <laughs> yeah, I know I mentioned this in the um, Infamous 2 LP, but the Soap Shoes guy is still around and he still thinks he's cool. Well, maybe in some way he is. I don't well, know. Well, I mean, compared to what I'm looking at right now, he's pretty sweet. Sure, sure, absolutely. <laughs> I really hope my microphone is not picking up my computer chugging. Just playing this video in this he whoa. <laughs> I thought he was gonna grind for a second. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> so I just realized there's only two new weapons in this level. Mm -hmm. The pistol and the one that charges up. Yep. Great. And uh it seems like the only unique thing about it is that they slowly recharge instead of having to reload them. That's it. Just like Halo. That's what makes them special. <laughs> You're trying to parody Space Marines and this is all you got. This is all you can give us. Yeah. Isn't it so wacky that we're fighting space marines on a cruise ship? Ha ha ha. That's uh, really funny. Matt Hazard. You think we could get Think we could get those cowboys back? I'm surprised they haven't brought them back cuz there occasionally are zombies in this level for some reason. Yeah. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> okay, he that one dude said to hit him from the right, but not a single one of them have gone yeah, to try I, and shoot Matt Hazard. I, I've noticed that the enemies occasionally will shout out these kind of things to make it... S okay, that's a good shimmy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they occasionally shout out these things to make it sound like they're trying to like 
actually do a tactics on you, uh, but they don't. <laughs> they just don't. Yeah, even Bear was confused, because after he killed those guys, he immediately looked over to where they would go if they were going to flank them, and of course there was fucking nothing there. Right. Because it was also, uh. hit them from the right, and it's like, what's to the right? A wall. No, no, they're right. Oh. Oh, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. They're, they're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Stage right. <laughs> yeah, this game should exit stage right. Yeah. I want a big, one of those big canes to just kind of slide <laughs> out on screen and just yank Matt Hazard off of my screen. Yep. I'll put it in post. Yeah. Some vaudeville guy just, you know, excitedly playing the piano really quick. <laughs> but are God, we going to do hate that screen effects so much? Anything interesting yet? No. Cool. Damn. Bear really likes the ice power. I guess because it makes them stop moving. Yeah. So you no longer have to aim. Cause yeah. Fuck this game. I'm I'm actually a big fan of the ice gun. Like somebody in the somebody in the thread did point out that you know the ice gun kind of you know makes it worse because even if you headshot them, you just freeze them instead of killing them. But I think we're at the point yeah. in the game where like headshots aren't killing enemies anyway. So fuck it. <laughs> I think you just said the design document for this game. <laughs> it's just one sheet of paper with the word right. bucket written in 72 point font times New Roman. It's a napkin with a coffee stain on it. <laughs> it says Master Chef? I, I don't fucking know. All right, I called you all in this meeting because we got to make a game. Uh, it turns out we tried to uh, we tried to pull of the producers and it it hasn't been working so we have to actually make a game. Um, <laughs> who's got something? Yeah, one of the head designers the previous night was just at a bar with his other game design buddy <laughs> and they just started writing. They're like three drinks in, one of them orders a Long Island, and they're just scribbling all these ideas on their napkin, like, oh, this will be great, this will be great! And then, unfortunately, yeah. that's all they had to bring to the meeting. Hey, hey what if... And then this is what we got. What if, what if, alright, alright, what if we made a video game that was, you were in a video game? Like, you're the guy, but you know you're in the game, right? <laughs> uh... That sounds good, Bob, but what if it was also a parody of yeah. games? But, shit, wait, do you know what the definition of parody is? Hey, hey, I do, I do, because check this out, check this out, watch, watch. Okay, I gotcha. Master Chef. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're gonna be rich. Oh my god, I'm gonna write this down right now. This is how low this is sunk. We, we have sunk. We're writing <laughs> fanfic about the makers of this game because there's nothing else interesting to do in this video. I'm sorry to this everyone that's watching this. This video. Like, I want you to know, we, we started this call... Like, it's it's two in the morning for me now. We started it at midnight. <laughs> we fucked around for an hour and a half before we started this because we could not bring ourselves <laughs> to watch this damn thing. Even even right before we started, when we had both sat down and all of our shit was open and ready to go, I was still bringing up new topics. <laughs> It's true. But it's I true. I gotta let Lynx go to bed eventually. <laughs> One day. One day I'll sleep. But until then, I'm just gonna <laughs> feel bad about every second of this we're inflicting on you, the viewer. 
that and every time you close your eyes you're just gonna see matthew hazard no no <laughs> my brain has pretty good defense mechanisms that doesn't happen <laughs> That guy didn't even try to take cover. <laughs> okay, that guy's at least, you know, doing a slow jog. And then he crouched down. That's... Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Oh, my All God. All these enemies just have the exact same, like, AI scripting. I, <sighs> They're just in a new skin. They're just a new model. They don't do anything different. Well, I was more upset by the shitty one-liner that happened, but also that, oh. yeah. <laughs> Okay, do we have a boss is fight? Is it sniper scope again? Oh, it's just now. evil QA. Don't get your cod piece in a bunch, honey. What's up? What's up is that this level has been one ambush after another. What gives? Hey, nobody's perfect. Anyway, I thought danger was a turn on for you action hero types. I know it is for me. Uh, her hair model is a little fucked up in that last scene. I thought I would never. What the hell? <sighs> Don't listen to her. She's, She's an imposter. Oh my God! Which one do I shoot? Evil twin moment, but I already know that you're the myself. Person. The bad advice, the cavalier attitude, the whole <laughs> coming on to me thing. Oh, gross. See what I'm talking about? So you figured it all out? <laughs> what a smart little action hero you are. QA, can you shut whoever See, I would like this a lot more if it was like, it really took you this long to figure it out? Really? I wasn't even subtle. <laughs> I, I didn't even try. I'm not even the same color. <laughs> this can't be good. I only survived fighting that thing in conflict with the deities because of my spear and magic helmet. What am I supposed to do here? No. Shoot it. No. No, Mad Hazard. No, you do not. You do not get to invoke Looney Tunes. You don't get to do that. You haven't earned that, okay? <laughs> I know it is a hallmark of bad media to call in and reference better media. You don't get to do that with fucking Looney Tunes. You take back that spear and magic helmet bit right now. <laughs> no. No, I am putting my foot down on this game that came out long ago. <laughs> Take that game from 2009. Matt Hazard is real and he can hear me and he's afraid of my raw power. <laughs> I know what directory they keep your EXE file in. <laughs> I will log in as admin and delete it. <laughs> I'm honestly just surprised that we have, like, something that resembles an actual boss fight. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Yeah. And so, I mean, you know, granted, of course we still have to keep putting in mooks, but, you know. Because Lord knows <laughs> these people can't make a boss fight that's just interesting on its own. <laughs> Like, <sighs> all right, game. I, I got the gist of it. Like, I got it. There, I know what it's going for, and it's not even doing it well. Cause like, it, it would be one thing if these things actually aimed for you in some way, but they don't. There's just yeah. six <laughs> predefined spots that they slam into. Uh, the ship doesn't have a health bar. Maybe it's invisible. Can you melee that for a quick kill? I don't know. Probably not. I didn't see the little square we'll icon know. pop up. <laughs> I was looking. Pretty much any time you can melee something, the, the square button prompt comes up. It didn't happen. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It didn't happen for that. So... <sighs> Why did you say it's hazard time, Matt? Because it's, it's hazard time. It's never hazard time. It's always hazard time. <laughs> this video is very hazardous. It's... Uh, I'm... Yay! <laughs> Yay! Whoever did that is a hero! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Man, this sound design is so bad. Yeah. We can't even get, like, waves crashing up the, against the ship so it looks visually interesting. The tentacles anything? aren't even really doing anything. They're just kind of sitting there. Like, it would be one thing if it was like, oh, okay, like, maybe kick one of these mooks into the tentacle in order to distract it, and then you can shoot it, you know, without fear of reprisal, but no. No, like, it's just sitting there. Nothing is happening. I'm glad their hitbox is so small. Of course. Oh boy, this this is still going. Uh-huh. Cuz for some okay, reason we have we got to kill we have all 11 six minutes tentacles. Left. Oh man, I didn't even look at that. Oh god. I've, I've been I've been keeping track just to reassure myself that yes, eventually this will be over. <laughs> Time is progressing. <laughs> we are not stuck in purgatory. <laughs> We are stuck in a Groundhog Day situation, so oh, we're both no. going to wake up tomorrow and don't have to record you, this again. Don't you put that curse on me. Don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done nothing to deserve that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just wondering how much of that 11 minutes is just going this, to be this. this. Oh, that's what killed him. They're holding little bombs for some reason. Yep. For some reason seems to be the explanation of a lot of things happening. Oh, right. I forgot the design documents. Just fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. We'll just make a game about games. We're going to be the Seinfeld of video games. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Fens is getting upset. <laughs> And you want to be my LP co-commentator. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, right, I'm not going to quote any more, any more Seinfeld quotes. I know. Thank you. It's, did you see there was a Doom mod that just made Seinfeld? I, I did. <laughs> I did, and I was very happy about that. <laughs> Did you see the other Doom mod um, that was posted recently where it just, every item just has a pair of legs oh, and yeah. runs around randomly? Yeah, hey, um, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and go ahead and look that up. Just Doom, but the items have legs. It's really yeah, just, funny. Just mute this video and just go watch that. Yes. The, the sound the legs make, make that mod amazing. <laughs> Just dun 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 And when you have like 50 items just running around in one room, it's like, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, thank you for bringing that up. That's given me the strength that I need to finish this. <laughs> God bless you, Doom community. Yep. Doom modding community. You're out there doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Thanks for the game tip, game. <laughs> the tip is shoot the tentacle, the thing we've been doing this entire fight. Yeah. That guy was just squatting, okay? He wasn't even doing anything. He wasn't taking cover. He was just like, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bend my legs a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I kind of wish that occasionally these tentacles would attack some of the nukes. Sure. Like, Something, something interesting. If if any of the uh, individual elements of this interacted with anything else, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> if you could use these cannons, that'd be rad. Oh, that would be really good. Yep. If um, you know, if you could use your ice beam to like freeze a tentacle and do double damage to it or something. Look, they're even in front of the cannons. Right. You should be able to just go shoot it to do extra damage to the tentacle or 
shoot it to make the tentacle fall over right. so you can actually do real damage to it. Anything. Right. You know, knock it over and then, like, do a melee attack and basically just pull a Doom 2016 where you just kind of reach in there and pull <laughs> something vital out, probably. No, I just want to see Matt Hazard do his really lame three-punch combo on one of the tentacles. Just, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Three gentle taps. See, like, what is that <laughs> Three attack? Three gentle, really slowly animated taps. I don't understand what that attack is from the tentacles. It, like, look, at no point is he in danger. <laughs> Yep. There's there's basically no tension. Oh, you're not allowed nope. to do that, Matt Hazard. No. Nope. No. No, you are not allowed. You don't get to you don't get to invoke Looney Tunes. You don't get to invoke Die Hard. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I agree with that though. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. And I hate it. And look, if you're gonna say yippee ki motherfucker, at least have it in a level that's like a skyscraper or something. Sure! You're on a pirate ship. I don't know, quote, fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. That was out when this was being made. I don't know, make a reference to a video game? <laughs> Maybe? I'm surprised they didn't make a God of War reference. Sure! Yeah, turns out that thing is a lot easier to kill with guns than it was with a spear. Oh my god, really? <laughs> From the right. Oh, what? God. I, I was hoping this. it would just be the end. What? Why, Why did it need even to have that cutscene? Did they think? Why? Did they think? That this sequence was so intense that they needed to stop and give the player a short break before they had to <laughs> kill two more tentacles. There are three tentacles here, but you only gotta kill two. The last one will get the message. <laughs> Do you think this is the level, or this is the boss fight they're most proud of? I... I don't know that pride has anything to do with anything we've seen. <laughs> and you know what else I just realized? Master Chef hasn't come back. Yeah. He had one scene and he oh, said, yeah. I can make cover for you. And then he fucked off. And you know what's great? Sometimes that cover he would make would show up, but he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that thing is a lot easier to kill with guns than it was with... Wait a minute. This whole thing seems very familiar. Of course it is. You fought the tentacle beast in conflict of the deities. Oh my god, I was kidding about Groundhog Day. I think it's repeating itself. <sighs> Matt, you're right. He's reprogrammed the save and restore system. The game keeps resetting to the last checkpoint. Okay, Matt. Good to go. Finish him off. That's why this whole thing has been so tedious and, you know, repetitive. <laughs> it's not because the game sucks ass. It's a plot element. <laughs> Alright, we need to figure out some way to pad this boss fight. I think they did that by having a boss fight. <laughs> I don't there's there's no threat there's no tension at all <laughs> like tentacle just aim a little bit to your left here okay a little bit left a little bit up or like aim for you aim know for the guy that's not interesting that and nobody likes him go underneath yeah come up from under the boat that'd be cool well that as they say is that well cool is a relative term yeah 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 <laughs> we're, we're setting the bar very low <laughs> uh -oh. 
Fuck you, Matt Hazard. Fuck this game. <laughs> And then Matt Hazard drowned, because you can't swim in body armor that heavy. <laughs> None of that fucking mattered. <laughs> Not a single minute of that meant a goddamn thing. <sighs> I want to die. Okay, we just have the end level cutscene left. That's it. Ah. <sighs> Let me get this straight. That idiot Dexter and his robotic bimbos didn't kill Hazard. Hazard ended up on a yacht, and the yacht blew up, taking one of our most expensive creature models with it, and you don't know if Hazard is dead because the level has been wiped from the surface. What? Um, do, uh, yes, sir, uh, but he must be dead. How could he have survived that? So far, he's survived everything we've thrown at him. Dig through those files. I want proof that he's dead. And if he's not, I want to know where he is. Yes, sir. Um, Just click and drag his file to the recycle bin. No way. And then right click empty recycle bin. <laughs> and if he is, we're going to need everything we can get to take him down. 